as our own guys. So you'll see this reaction a little later in the afternoon. I passed out for 12 straight hours. I was just dead tired. And you're not getting home until like 11, 11.30 at night from work for the past like three days. It kind of takes a toll on you. <laughs> so uh, this one's called Carter. Just one of the Netflix trailer ones I just randomly picked. So let's check this out. I can't remember anything. Your name is Carter. Carter. <laughs> There is a device implanted in your ear. You are the only one who can hear me. Listen to me. Damn! If you want to live. Who are you? A mutant virus has emerged with over eight and a half million infected people. What? Okay, first of all, a <laughs> couple of things. You can tell when it's usually like uh, one of these type of movies, comparisons to like one of the bigger ones. Like if you were to take something like Marvel, you know, they would go in for the screenshot when they're like circling around the entire heroes, but everything else is from far away. Or this one, you can tell there's a person really close to the camcorder, you know, or a camera like really up close and you know catch all the action stuff like that you can tell from those type of movies from those ones those ones tend to be kind of a little eh you know just because they don't have the budget for it but it still looks decently good uh that helicopter one this is not happening I don't think even professional pilots could pull that off. And if they can't, especially in a helicopter, I'd be highly surprised. I've seen uh, ones like, if you ever watched Terminator 2, where uh, the t 1000s flying that helicopter under the bridge, that's someone actually doing that. That's not an actual drone. And I'm pretty sure, I think it was James Cameron who actually got someone to do it, or it was himself, I can't remember. But that was an actual person flying a helicopter under that bridge. So this is kind of like, uh, <laughs> gotta punch the boundaries there. Um, hmm. Mutated virus, huh? I mean, basically, if they would put, like, COVID, you know, into an action film, I can kind of see where this is kind of going. I still have Netflix. I have been so goddamn busy with work and stuff that I haven't had time to even watch Volume 2 of Stranger Things. So we'll definitely be watching that. Um, when does this come out? August 5th. I might still have Netflix by then. I don't know. A little bit. Um, I ended up watching The Northmen 2 last night. That was actually a really good movie. You know, I'm not a big fan of most Viking movies because they tend to be really cheesy. They tend to stick to more of the supernatural and out of the monsters and all this other random crap instead of actually sticking to, like, Nor Norse uh, mythology to it. To Norse... Okay, not mythology. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, kind of like culture in a sense. You know, just sticking to actual humans. They add some supernatural features with, that, with like, dreams, something like that. But that's basically as far as they go. Uh... But as for this TV show, if I still have Netflix by then, sure, I'll consider watching it. You know, but um, I think all I want to do is I'm just going to end up watching all the Stranger Things. And if Netflix manages to get anything new, I might keep it then. I don't know, we'll have to see. And I know Jurassic Dominion just came out too, and I've been wanting to watch that. But that's still expensive as hell to rent, so. And uh, if you haven't seen it, 
I dropped the newest Doom video today. Uh, I also said in that, so you'll get this one too. I won't be here tomorrow because I'm going grocery shopping. So you'll get your video sometime early in the morning. And you'll get your video reaction sometime later in the day when I get home. So, But either way, make sure you drop a like. Think about subscribing. Leave a comment below. And uh, hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, and sanitized. And don't ever get old. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> I'll see you guys around.